I mean, being a therapist is, is not easy at all. A lot of people think being a therapist is easy, and I'm just, I'll be looking like, all right, you, you try it. Hey, Key Hive, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on this video because I know you're interested in what I have to say today. If you haven't done so already, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below to go part of the Key Hive. And hello to all the subscribers. Thanks so much for joining, and let's get right into today's video. All right, so if you read the title, we're gonna be talking about, I guess these are my top five reasons why I feel like black people do not go to therapy. So let's get right into it. All right, so if you don't know, I am a marriage and family therapist. I went to school at Valdosta State University. I graduated last year, so I've been through the program. So I am a real therapist. So since coming from a real therapist, these are things that I've seen and also things that I have heard from my own therapist colleagues as well. So I'm just going to share them with you. So let me know down in the comments below why you think African Americans or black people don't go to therapy in case I miss something and we can just kind of start a little conversation. Number one, we're always saying that just pray about it, God's got you. Now in that, if you are religious or go to church or believe in God, that is true. God does have you. You know, you pray, you give your anxieties, your cares, your worries to God. But also in waiting for his response, you can go to seek treatment for whatever you're going through. Because sometimes while you're waiting, it can seem like the problem is still packing on and piling up. And you need somebody to talk to that's unbiased and who can really give you an objective point of view on your situation and that is where therapy comes into play i know a lot of people who are go to church they think that going seeking therapy is not trusting in god and that is not the case god put people here on earth to help you out while you are here in order for you to get through certain situations in life so seeking therapy is not going to condemn you to hell. Number two, what I've heard is that, you know, we keep it in the family. We don't let outsiders into what's going on in the family. We can work it out on our own. Now, the problem with that is, is that when you keep it in the family, sometimes the solutions that are being applied to the problem aren't helping at all. They're just either making the problem worse or keeping the problem at the same level so it's never getting better it just kind of you see the problem you handle it in the family and it kind of gets swept under the rug and it's not getting fixed it's just piling up underneath that rug and people are just kind of ignoring it so in that it's okay to keep it in the family but it's also okay to talk to somebody and bring the family into therapy so you all can have better ways of communication better ways of solving problems taking those attempted solutions that you keep throwing at the problem and taking those and figuring out where in that solution or where in the attempt things are going wrong and taking another approach to fix the situation. And that's where therapy comes into play. Cause again, you're getting an objective point of view, biased point of view to help you out in your situation. Number three, I hear this one a lot, a lot, is that black people are always saying that I'm not crazy, I don't need therapy. I'm just, I never understood. I guess the stigma behind it is that you only go to therapy if you have like bipolar disorder or, or the, the schizophrenia or something like that. But that is not true. Somewhere in your life, if you're younger or if you're older or if you're my age, is that somewhere in your life you're gonna go through some type of traumatic event, some type of crisis death, illness, something is going to happen because that is just how life goes. Something is going to happen where it is going to shake up how life goes for you or how things have been going for you. And that is, therapy can help in help you learn how to grieve properly, help you learn coping mechanisms in crisis situations, helping you just get through college get through transitional periods in your life because again we have those transitional periods in our lives therapy can help with that you don't have to be you don't have to have a super type of um diagnosis 
like schizophrenia or bipolar or anything you don't have to have a big diagnosis to go to therapy it can be something as simple as not to not to minimize by situations but it could be something as simple as college transition you're going to college you're going away to college it's the first time away from home first time away from your family first time having to have all this big responsibility on you and it could be a tough transition for people who haven't had to do a lot of big decisions in their life it can be something simple as college transition or dealing with the death in the family anything of that sort therapy can help with really anything break up with your boyfriend you know anything like that therapy can help so you don't have to be crazy I don't like using that word, but crazy to go to therapy. Okay, number four is that I always hear this a lot is that I don't need anybody judging me. Now, I can understand why people think that you go to therapists and they're judging you because you're going into a room with a stranger and you're telling them about some really big or small issues in your life and they don't know you, you don't know them, and you're having to open up to this person it can be intimidating and you could think that the therapist is judging you or is going to talk about you behind your back but that is first of all that's unethical two we're really here to help you and try to understand what's going on and that's why we might ask questions like you tell us that i don't know example like oh we got i got to a fight with my boyfriend and we'll ask you okay how how did the fight start or what led up to it or was there was there a time when you weren't fighting you might ask questions like that just to get a clear picture of what's going on before you really start diving into the heart of the matter because we're just trying to get to know you and we're not judging you we're, we're just trying to understand what it is that you need from us so we can better help you out in the process of therapy number five this might coincide with another one but it's um i'm not telling anyone about my problems now i've heard this a lot like i see a lot on social media um this one quote i see a lot is that i'm healing from things that i never talk about and to me when i see that and i see people repost it i'm just like i just it just hurt it didn't hurt but it's like wow like i wish people knew that it's okay to talk about things that are hurtful because sometimes you really can't work it out on your own have you ever tried to work out a problem on your own like without any help and you realize that you're just walking around in circles or talking around in circles and you start thinking about worst case scenarios and then you start thinking crazy and it's just and when you talk to like a friend or just somebody in general you kind of level kind of come back to a equilibrium and you're not up here you're not down here but you're kind of okay i feel a little bit better because you've had the chance to express yourself and talk to somebody about what's going on even if they don't say anything you have somebody else to listen to they may give a little feedback here and there but it but it usually feel a little better that's why i went to this field because sometimes people just need somebody just to listen to them not give feedback not saying oh yeah understand i i went through that and this is how i got through it because that doesn't help everybody goes through things different ways so if i went through something that's similar to your situation the way i handle it and the way you handle it because two totally different ways so that's not really helpful in a way and i tell you how i did it and you try it and it doesn't work for you then you probably be mad at me because you're like, well, I did it your way and it didn't work. Well, I'm a different person. We're different people. So it may not work the same way. I mean, being a therapist is, is not easy at all. A lot of people think being a therapist is easy. And I'm just, I'd be looking like, all right, you, you try it. It's not easy, but it is rewarding. I just wanted to give you all some five things that I have learned or noticed that why black people or why, at least what I've heard that, why African American or black people don't go to therapy. That's just, these are just a few of them. There's a whole lot more, but these are the few that I've heard. Let me know in the comments below if you know any more that I haven't, that I haven't mentioned. And I'll do another video on that. If you have any questions about 
therapy or a major family therapy or even the program that I went to that off the state. I'll leave the link up here for you all to check all that out. So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked it or this with all your friends. And I'll see you next video, you guys. Bye.